Right. So in it goes. Okay. All we want to do is cover the rice with the oil. Let it get a little translucent. Won't take long. And to this, I'm adding a combination of garlic, pepper, and salt. Okay. Not too much. A little bit of each, just for the flavor of the pilaf. Now we're going to add two and a half cups of chicken stock. Okay. Once the chicken stock and rice begins to boil, I'm going to stir it. Okay. Just going to give it a little stir. And we're going to cover it. And I'm going to move it to another burner to let it simmer for 15 minutes. Okay, and we'll get the potatoes part of this meal is really simple. Here's some chopped up potatoes. Here's we're just gonna pour a little olive oil over the potatoes. Not too much. Not too much. Just enough to get them wet. Then we're gonna take a spoon. We're gonna make sure they're coated. Now, to that, I'm gonna add some salt pepper, and garlic. Okay, here's the rosemary. That's all there is to it, to making rosemary and garlic roasted potatoes. Now, I'm not putting this in the oven now, but about 10 minutes prior to me putting the chicken breast in the oven, these potatoes are going to go in because the chicken breast will require 20 to 30 minutes to cook, and it'll make these perfect. So I'm going to set these aside, and we're going to move on to stuffing the chicken breast. Okay, so what I've done here is I have some chicken breast that I've marinated for about three hours in a white wine, sugar, salt and pepper with just a little touch of now olive Now what I've oil. done is I've made Marin an incision about an inch in and an inch in all the way across. But what I also do for the stuffing, for the pilaf, is I make a pocket on the side. So you have to make sure that your knife is sharp. Okay. So it makes a razor-like incision so that you can really stuff these breasts. But don't go out the other side. There we go. There we go. So, I have a pocket here, and I have a pocket here, and I have a pocket here. I'm going to move this over and bring this one forward to show you. One more time. I don't start at the very end. I start at about an inch in. I poke. I go across. Okay? I stop at about an inch before the end. Separate the flesh and cut again separate the flesh and cut again because you don't want to go through it all right there we go okay then you see how thick it is you go to the center with the point of your knife and cut a pocket but don't come out the other side there you go you can open it up even further but you don't come out the other side take your knife figure out the center Cut a little pocket. There we go. All right. These two breasts are going to wait a few more minutes because I'm waiting for the pilaf. Okay, here we are. The rice is done. I'm using Thai jasmine rice. Now to that, this pilaf, we're going to add some pistachios, rough chopped. Okay. And to that, we're going to add some dried cranberries that have been chopped. Gorgonzola fine. cheese. If anybody knows anything about cheese. They know gorgonzola, man. This stuff rocks. It's great on everything. And into the pilaf stuffing we go. Okay. And here it is. This is the stuffing. Okay? I'll be right back and okay. we'll stuff those. Here are the marinated chicken breasts. And we are going to stuff them. Not going to use a spoon. Just going to use my hands. Okay? Just going to use my hands. I'm going to grab some of that pilaf mixture. Dump it right in. Okay? Stuff it into the side. That nice side pocket that you make. With a good sharp knife. Get it in there. Get some with your other hand because you have a pocket on the right side as well. Wipe off the excess rice. Okay. Get it in those pockets. Okay. Get some straight down the middle. little bit at a time. A little bit at a time. Get it 
And in that pocket, there we go. You'll know when it's full. <laughs> oh yeah, you'll know when it's full. That's one. Now let's do the other. All right. Get a gob of the rice with the nuts and the cheese and the cranberries, salt, garlic. Okay, get it on there. Lift up this flap, stuff it in there. Delish. pilaf. This breast is a little bit smaller than the other one. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah, get it in that pocket. All right. Put a little more on top. Make a little mountain on top. All that gorgonzola is going to melt and brown. Get ooey gooey. All right. We'll be back in two seconds, and we're going to start to cook. Okay, here we go. We're going to cook these breasts right now. Into the skillet, I'm putting a combination. One tablespoon butter. One tablespoon olive oil. Butter for flavor. Oil for the burn point. This, along with the juices from the chicken, will create the pan drippings that I will make the white wine sauce from. And we'll take one of the breasts and lay it in. And we'll take the other breast and lay it in. Perfect. It's starting to cook. I'll raise the heat to a medium high. In the meantime, my oven is preheated 400 degrees. Okay. Because a few minutes before I put these breasts into the oven, I've got to put the potatoes, a little bit of salt, just a little bit of salt. And a little bit of pepper. pepper grinder from the supermarket. Really cool. Okay, now, the chicken's cooking from the bottom up, and when it's about 40% the way through, it's going to go into the oven. And a couple of minutes before that happens, I'm going to put the potatoes in the oven so that they cook at about the same amount of time. So I'm just going to let these cook away. Okay guys, the chicken breasts are cooking, and they're almost ready to go into the oven. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the garlic and rosemary potatoes in the oven about 10 minutes ahead of time so that all this will cook together and it should be done fairly shortly. Get ready. This is going to go in the oven in a few minutes. See you in a few. All right. Don't those breasts look delicious? And right about now they're going to go into the oven preheated 450 degrees for about 20 minutes, maybe 30. Each oven's a little bit different. And then we'll be back to make the white wine sauce to go with it, and we'll get ready to eat. See you in a few minutes. Hi guys, the breasts are ready to go into the oven. 450 degrees, preheated, between 20 and 30 minutes each oven's a little bit different, but they're looking really good. So here we go. And we go with the potatoes. 20, 30 minutes. I'll see you in a little while. Okay guys, there they are. They are done. They are going to get plated. And then we're going to make the white wine sauce, and then we're going to put it all together. Stick around. Okay, guys. So here we go. We're going to make a quick white wine sauce. I have this pan on low flame. I'm going to slowly start pouring some wine in to deglaze it. It's coming out of the oven at 450. Don't worry about it being super lumpy or anything like that. Just stir it in. We could have used a Bermanet. You could have used a burr egg, but it's not necessary. Turn the heat down to medium, create a paste. We can make this sauce, this gravy, 
as thick or as thin as we want. What we basically have here is a thick sauce. And it is the color of a light blonde roux. What I'm trying to do, as I let it darken a little bit more, is to cook out the flavor of the flour. So as it gets a little bit darker, that soapy, floury taste will be gone, and I will end up with a nut brown thickener. A quick roux is basically what we've got here. Okay. Don't want it to burn. All right. This is a pretty smooth paste. Okay. Now to that. Chicken broth. All right. And we'll just stir that in. And to that, some finely chopped brown mushrooms, baby portobellos, and I'll raise the heat. Raise the heat, bring it to a boil, and reduce it down. Let it boil, let it soften up the mushrooms a little bit. Keep stirring. Flour is mixed back in. Bring this to a boil. The mushrooms will soften. The sauce will thicken. And we'll be ready to plate. All right, there you have it. A nice nut brown white wine and mushroom sauce for the chicken. I'm going to plate this up, get the sauce on it for presentation, and we'll be right back. Okay guys, here it is plated. Roasted potatoes, rosemary and garlic, stuffed chicken breast, gorgonzola, cranberry, pistachio, and a rice pilaf in a nice, thick, mushroom and white wine sauce. Okay guys, there it is. Stuffed chicken breast with cranberry, pistachio, and gorgonzola in a rice pilaf base with rosemary and garlic roasted potatoes.